Oh yes, there's been a lot of exciting developments in the CAR-T space in India. Uh, it started with us. We we developed the first uh, novel uh, CAR-T and it's a humanized one. And uh, that was our group along a collaboration with IIT Bombay and Dr. Rahul Purva, uh, which I led from Tata Memorial Center. And that's in clinical trial and we have already approved uh, above 15 years of age. We got approval uh, based on the phase two adult trial, which was presented in ASH uh, in December 23. And uh, this was as recently as October uh, 23. Since the approval, already about close to 15, 20 patients, probably five more as we speak in this last week, have already received the approved uh, therapy uh, through ImmunoAct, which has got the marketing and licensing rights for this, uh, for this CAR-T. In addition, the pediatric uh, phase two trial, the data of which I just uh, talked about, the phase one B trial, is, uh, which has been presented here, and the phase two trial, which is enrolling. We are continuing to see such great results. Of course, it's not public yet, but we are very hopeful that we'll get pediatric uh, trial to, uh, approval too, uh, probably before the end of this year itself. And that would be huge. Apart from that, other groups are getting into the act. Uh, there's a, a group called Immunil, uh, which has held a phase two trial. Uh, they have licensed out the Spanish uh, car from the University of Barcelona uh, and they are manufacturing it locally in India uh, using a fully automated platform. They have concluded phase two trials. Uh, hopefully, they might be getting approval too uh, soon. Uh, there are other groups which are developing car teams and uh, are hoping to move to clinical trials soon. There's a company in India called Dr. Reddy's which has moved into a myeloma phase one trial. So the CAR-T and cell and gene therapy space is really hotting up in India and a lot of exciting developments coming there.